Hello, I welcome you all on this online platform of Shikuya Let's Upskill. Today in this session, we are going to discuss pseudo codes asked for Capgemini 2022. So here is the first pseudo code. Uh, the first line is integer PQR. So three integer variables are there P, Q and R. And in the next line, it is written set p is equal to 0 so initial value of this p is 0 and for q uh, it is 6 and for r the value is 8 then a for loop is written a for loop then inside this for loop the value of variable r goes from 3 to 5 okay so we will consider the first case where the value of r is equal to 3 this for loop will be executed three times initial value of r is 3 then it will be 4 and it will be 5 so three times this for loop will be executed so when the value of r is equal to 3 so i will update the value of r is equal to 3 then q is equal to what is q q is equal to 12 plus q so 12 plus what is the value of q it is 6 therefore 18 so 18 will be stored in q in variable q then a condition is checked if one is smaller than q here the value of q is 18 therefore one is smaller than 18 this condition is true therefore these two statements which are written inside this if blocks are executed what is the first statement the value of p is equal to p and 8 so if you check what is the value of p it is 0 so 0 and 8 we know the result is 0 okay and then xor r so 0 xor r is equal to r and what is the value of r it is 3 and this 3 will be assigned to p therefore the value of this p is 3 then q is equal to the next statement inside the if block is q is equal to q plus 4 so what is the value of q 18 18 plus 4 that is 22 plus r r is 3 okay so 22 plus 3 is 25 therefore the value of q is updated to 25 and ended so here when the value of r is 3 we have got these values okay now the second case is when the for loop is executed for the second time that means the value of r becomes 4 I write here 4 now the value of r is 4 then q is equal to what is the value of q the value of q is equal to 12 plus q so 12 plus what is the value of q it is 25 so 12 plus 25 how much it is it is 37 so the updated value of q is 37 okay then if a condition is checked if one is greater one is smaller than q what is the value of q now it is 37 okay so one is smaller than 37 yes it is true therefore these two statements uh, which are written inside this if block are executed and now we will find the value of p so p is equal to p and 8 so what is the value of p the value of p is 3 so how to write 3 in binary 0 0 1 1 and 8 how to write 8 1 0 0 0 so if you find the and the result of this so 1 and 0 is 0 1 and 0 is 0 0 and 0 is 0 1 and 0 is 0 therefore it is a 0 okay and or r what is the value of r the value of r is right now 4 okay here we are running this we are executing this for loop for the second time therefore 4 will be the result 0 or 4 is 4 and this 4 will be stored in variable p okay then we will find the value of q so q is equal to q is equal to q plus 4 what is the value of q it is 37 plus 4 it is 41 plus 4 that means r r means 4 so 
37 plus 4 is 41 41 plus 4 is 45 so the new value of q is 45 this is what we have got now when the value of r becomes so i write here the third case i will draw here a line now when the value of this r is 5 r is equal to 5 that means i will update here the value of r is equal to 5 now q is equal to how much is the value of q q is equal to 12 plus q so 12 plus 45 okay the value of new value of q is 45 so how much it is uh, 57 it is 57 so the new value of q is 57 it is now 57 then the condition is checked what is the condition if one is smaller than q so one is what is the value of q the value the recent value of q is 57 okay so one is smaller than 57 yes this condition is true therefore uh, we need to find the value of p and q so what is the value of p new value of p is p and a what is the value of p it is 4 so how to write 4 so 0 1 0 0 is 4 and 8 and 1 0 0 0 how much it is so 0 0 0 0 again the value of p is a 0 uh, sorry p and 8 the result is 0 x or r x or r means what is the value of r uh, the value of r is now 5 okay so the value of r is 5 so 0 x or 5 is 5 so 5 will be stored in p 5 will be stored in p and now we need to find the value of q so what is the value of q q plus 4 what is the value of right now q q plus 4 q is 57 plus 4 plus r r is 5 so 57 plus 4 is 61 61 plus 5 is 66 so the value of q is 66 i will write here 66 okay then and if and then we will come out of this for loop because now the value of r is was 5 now we will come out of this for loop and then we will print the result of p plus q what is the value of p the value of p is 5 plus what is the value of q if you see the recent value of is 66 okay so 66 plus 5 we have got 71 and if you check here in given option option b is 71 therefore the correct option or the output of this following pseudo code is 71 it is option b now let's go towards the uh, next uh, mcq and what is asked which of the following is the correct pre-order traversal of the given tree so one tree is given and you can see here uh, different nodes are given and it is asked the correct pre-order traversal so there are three types of tra traversals in order traversal pre-order and post order here pre-order is tree uh, what is the which of the following is the correct pre-order traversal of the given tree so in pre-order what happens first root is processed so first process the root then process the left sub tree and then process the right sub tree so this is what is done in pre-order traversal so here the root node is one therefore we will get here one then left sub tree so this is the left sub tree and this pin is the right sub tree okay this is left sub tree this is right sub tree now here what happens when we enter into this left subtree here now you consider this left subtree here what you have got here what is the root here here the root is 2 okay and then after 2 there is this 4 is in its left subtree therefore 4 then right subtree 
so we come here at phi u then at phi u after this phi u we will check the left subtree of this phi okay which is 8 so this one is our root so 2 4 phi u 8 are from left subtree then after completion of this left subtree we will move towards the right subtree here first 3 will come and what is at the left side of this 3 6 okay and what is at there is no any left subtree for this 6 but there is a right node over there therefore I would like 9 so this part is completed and then the right part here it comes 7 so this part belongs to right subtree okay so we have first process the root then left subtree then right subtree so 1 2 4 5 8 3 6 9 7 if you check here we are getting this in option c therefore the correct option for this is option c okay now let's move towards the next pseudo code what is the code so what is the output of the following pseudo code so three variables are given a b and c and the initial value of a and b is 8 and the value of c is 10 so one function is given the function name is fun and its return type is integer that means it is expected that this fun function will return an integer value okay and it takes three arguments a b and c so what is asked so initially one condition is there if 7 is greater than c so 7 is greater than c what is the value of c it is 10 okay so this condition is false this condition is false one this is and operator but logical operator is used over here if what is its meaning if the first condition if either of the condition that means first condition and the second condition so this is the second condition okay if both the conditions are true then only uh, this if block is executed now here the first condition 7 is greater than c here the value of c is 10 therefore 7 is greater than 10 this is false therefore this if block is not executed so else part is executed what is the else part it is written a is equal to 5 plus 3 okay so 5 plus 3 is 8 and c what is the value of c the value of c is 10 so a and 10 8 and 10 how to write 8 in the binary 1 0 0 0 this is how 8 is written and how to write 10 in binary 1 0 1 0 and we need to find its and operation so 0 and 0 is a 0, 0 and 1 is a 0, 0 and 0 is 0, 1 and 1 is 1. So it is 8. So 8 will be stored in A. Okay. And if and return A plus B plus C. What is the value of A? It is 8. We know that it is 8. What is the value of B? The value of B is also 8 and what is the value of c the value of c is 10 so 8 plus 8 is 16 plus 10 we have got here 26 and this 26 is option b okay so the correct option for this pseudo code is option b 26 now let's move towards the next pseudo code here it is asked what is the output of the following pseudo code and three variables are given a b and c if you check the value of a is 4 the value of b is 7 and the value of c is 8 now similar to the previous pseudo code fun function is defined over here and its return type is integer that means it is expected that when this fun function is executed it will return a integer value okay and it takes three arguments a b and c so c is equal to so it is asked c is equal to i will write c is equal to b plus a c so b is 7 and c what is the value of c it is 8 plus a what is the value of a a is 4 
so 7 plus 8 is 15 15 plus 4 is 19 so 19 will be assigned to variable c now it is asked if c plus a what is the c value of c 19 plus a that is 19 plus value of a is 4 that is 23 is smaller than a what is the value of a it is 4 okay so this is false this condition is false therefore this block this if block is not executed okay and if therefore this part is not executed and return a plus b plus c so what is the value of a it is 4 okay what is the value of b b is 7 and what is the value of c so value of c we have just found it is 19 so 4 plus 7 uh, that is 11 and 11 plus 19 is 30 so the result of this is 30 so value 30 will be returned and if you see here in given options option c is 30 so this is the correct option let's go to the towards the next pseudocode what is asked what will be the output of the following pseudocode so three options are given uh, three variables are given variable a b and c the value of a and b are 5 and the value of c is 7 here also a fun is a function it's a function name it's a certain type is integer and it takes three arguments so initially the value of b is calculated what is the value of b the value of b is a plus 8 what is a 5 plus 8 that is 13 plus b that is b the value of b given is 5 so it is 18 okay so 18 will be stored in variable b then what is asked if a plus c so what is a plus c so the value of a is 5 and the value of c is 7 so a plus c that means 7 plus 5 is 12 is smaller than so here if a plus c is 12 is smaller than c minus a so c is what 7 7 minus a a is 5 so 7 minus 5 is 2 so this condition is false because 12 is not smaller than 2 therefore this is false therefore this if block is not executed and here b is equal to what is asked b is equal to c plus 11 what is the value of c the value of c is 7 7 plus 11 so it becomes 18 okay 18 and b what is the value of b the value of b is 18 okay so 18 and 18 so how to write 18 so in binary we write it like this so it we, we start with 2 raised to 0 that is 1 then we write it the next digit the power of the next digit is 2 raised to 1 that is 2 then for 2 raised to 2 that is 4 so 1 4 this goes on 8 16 like that so how to write 18 so 16 plus 2 is 18 okay and remaining bits are 0 uh, sorry 16 plus 2 let me use here eraser and then i will select a pen again okay so this is 18 okay so 18 is written like this 1 0 0 1 0 and 18 okay so 1 0 0 1 0 so if you find the and result of this so 0 and 0 is 0 1 and 1 is 1 0 and 0 is 0 0 and 0 is 0 and 1 and 1 is 1 so here the result is again 18 and this 18 will be stored in b okay and here it is asked return a plus b plus c so what is the value of a the value of a is 5 it is given what is the value of b the value of b we have found it is 18 and then the value of c is 7 so 5 plus 18 is 23 23 plus 7 is 30 so the correct option is option b 30 now let's go to the next pseudocode now let's move towards the next pseudocode 
so in this pseudo code three variables are variable integers are given pp qq and rr so for pp we will consider variable p for qq we will have variable q and for rr we will consider variable r so it is asked to set the value of pp as 5 for q the value given is 7 and for rr the value is 4 okay then if pp xor qq so what is the value of p the value of p is 5 what is the value of q the value of q is 7 so how to write 5 in binary so we write 0 1 0 1 as 5 and how to write 7 0 1 1 1 and if we xor 5 and 7 so 1 xor 1 is 0 0 xor 1 is 1 1 xor 1 is 0 0 xor 0 is 0 so we have got here the result of 5 xor 7 is 0 0 1 0 that is 2 and this 2 this 2 is smaller than qq so it is smaller than qq what is value of q it is 7 so is this true 2 is smaller than 7 yes this condition is true therefore this if block is executed and what is this if block what is written over here pp is equal to qq plus pp so p is equal to q plus p what is q 7 and what is p 5 so 7 plus 5 we have got here 12 and 12 will be stored in p so the new updated value of p is 12 now and if and after this end if pp plus qq so this condition if pp plus qq so what is pp plus p qq what is p p is 12 plus qq so it is 7 so 12 plus 7 is this is smaller than qq minus pp what is qq so q is 7 minus 12 okay so here we know that this is false this condition is false okay so here and operator is used that means if the first condition and the second condition if both the conditions are true then, on, then only this if block is executed here the first condition is false therefore this if block is not executed and the else part is executed what is else part rr plus 1 what is rr rr is 4 plus 1 plus rr that is 4 so it is 9 okay and this 9 will be assigned to qq so here the value of q is now 9 then and if uh, then qq is equal to 10 plus 11 that is 21 plus qq what is the value of q uh, 9 so it becomes 30 so 30 will be stored in q so the new value of this q is 30 okay then print pp so the value of p is 12 qq the value of q is 30 plus rr that is 4 so if you find 12 plus 30 is 42 42 plus 4 is 46 and here you find <coughs> in the given option <coughs> option d is 46 so the output of this pseudo code is option d 46 now let's move towards the next pseudo code so it is asked what is the output of this following pseudo code one string is given the name of the string is str1 and set so this is a string and this string hello world is stored in str1 so if you uh, count the characters how many characters are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 including this space total 11 characters are there so let me draw here a character array of size 11 so 1 2 3 4 
फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन एंड इलेवन ओके एंड इंडेक्सिंग गोज फ्रॉम दिस इज एस टी आर वन एस टी आर वन एंड हियर द इंडेक्सिंग ऑफ दिस कैरेक्टर अरे गोज फ्रॉम जीरो सो जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन एंड टेन एंड हियर हेलो वर्ड सो एच ई डबल एल ओ स्पेस देन डब्ल्यू ओ आर एल डी सो हेलो वर्ड इज स्टोर एंड प्रिंट द कैरेक्टर स्टोर एट इंडेक्स नाइन सो एट इंडेक्स नाइन एल इज स्टोर देर फोर एल विल बी प्रिंटेड ऑन द स्क्रीन एंड इफ यू सी द गिवन ऑप्शन ऑप्शन सी इज एल सो द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस सुडो कोड इज ऑप्शन सी एल नाउ लेट्स गो टूवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट सुडो कोड here in the pseudo code q p r so p q and r these are three variables and the value of p is set to 4 so let me write here 4 the value of q is 3 and the value of r is 5 okay then r is equal to 6 then r is equal to 6 plus 8 so how much 6 plus 8 is फोर्टीन फोर्टीन प्लस पी द वैल्यू ऑफ पी इज फोर देर फोर एटीन विल बी स्टोर्ड इन आर सो एटीन विल बी स्टोर्ड इन आर देन इफ आर एंड क्यू एंड पी सो आई राइट यर आर एंड क्यू एंड पी वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आर इट इज एटीन वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू द वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू इज थ्री and what is the value of p the value of p is 4 okay so r q and p here we need to and them together so how to write 18 in binary so 1 0 0 1 0 okay so this is 18 in binary how to write 3 0 0 0 1 1 How to write four zero zero one? Just a minute. One zero zero. So if we add them, what we have got here? Zero 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 zero. So we have got here zero. So if this zero is smaller than Q, so let me write here Q. What is Q? Three plus P. P is four minus R. R is eighteen. That means seven minus eighteen. What is the result? Seven minus eighteen is minus eleven. Okay. So zero is smaller than minus eleven. This is false. Okay. Therefore, this if block is not executed. And if and print P plus Q plus R. What is the value of P? It is four. What is the value of Q? The value of Q is three, and R R is eighteen. So eighteen four plus seven e uh, four plus plus three is seven. Seven plus eighteen. What we have got here? It is so four plus three is seven. Seven plus eighteen is twenty five. Okay. and if you check given options 25 is appeared as option c so the correct option for this pseudo code is option c 25 now let's move towards the next pseudo code it is asked what is the output of the following pseudo code three integer variables are given a b and c the value of a is 9 the value of b is 2 the value of c is 7 now a for loop is there for c The value of C goes from four to five. So the first case where the value of C is four, and here A is equal to A is equal to. So I write A is equal to B. What is the value of B? Two plus two. Again the value of B is two. That is six. So the value of A will be six. Okay. Now <clears throat> in the second case, when the value of C is five. That means when this for loop is executed for the second time, its value becomes five. 
So here again a is equal to b plus 2. What is the value of b? It is 2 given plus 2 that is 4 plus the value of b is 2 that means 6. So the value of a remains 6. Then end for and print the value of a plus b. What is the value of a? The value of a is 6 and the, what is the value of b? The value of b given is 2. So 6 plus 2 is 8 and if you check it is in option D. So the correct output for the for this pseudo code is option D. Okay. Now let's check the next question. What is asked? Find out the number of swappings required for sorting the given numbers in ascending order if you are using bubble sort. Okay. So bubble sort for sorting. So for sorting uh, these are the given numbers. Total 5 numbers are there. So consider we have an array with size 5. So let me draw here 1, 2, 3, 4 and say 5 and the numbers stored over there are 7, 5, 3, 8, 1 with indexing. The indexing starts from 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now here we need to use bubble sort. So in bubble sort what do we do? We take first two elements. Okay. That means the elements stored at index 0 and 1. Okay. So this is the previous number and to this number we will call it as a next number. So we will check whether the previous number if previous number is greater than the next number then what we will do we will swap the two numbers okay else if this is not the case that means the next number is greater than the previous number we will not slap these two elements so first we will consider first two numbers after that we will consider the next two numbers that means the numbers stored at index 1 and 2 okay then we will consider the next two numbers that means the numbers stored at index 2 and 3 and then index the numbers stored at index 3 and 4. So this goes on. So initially this is the given. So right here this is the given array. Consider that this is a given array and we need to use here bubble sort for sorting. That means we want to now arrange these numbers these elements into ascending order. So what we will do first the first two numbers are considered in the first round okay that means we will consider the elements stored at index 0 and 1 what is stored at index 0 7 and 5 it is given so 7 that is previous element is greater than the next element therefore swapping is done that means 7 will be stored at index 1 and 5 will be stored at index 0 okay uh, then we will consider the next two numbers that means numbers stored at index 1 and 2 so what is stored at index 1 now after swapping after this swapping here 7 will be stored at index 1 because 5 has gone at index 0 so 7 and the element stored at index 2 is 3 here again 7 is greater than 3 therefore swapping is done okay then after this we will consider next two numbers that means numbers stored at index 2 and 3 so because of this swapping in the previous stage so 7 has moved at index 2 and at index 3 8 is there okay here 8 that means the next element is greater than this previous element therefore we will not do any swapping okay because we have already discussed the condition for swapping okay here swapping is not done again we will consider next two numbers that means number stored at index 3 and 4 here 8 is stored at index 3 and 1 is stored at index 4 here 8 is greater that means previous number is greater than the next number therefore swapping is done so this is we will call this as a first round so in first round swapping is done for three times okay now after first round what is the situation over here in this original array? So the size of an array is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with indexing 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here uh, 5 is stored over here 
as the first element then after phi u uh, what is stored over there after phi u so after swapping phi u is there then there comes 3 then 7 then 1 and then 8 so this is the result of our array after first round then in a second round uh, what will happen so we will consider first two elements okay so i will draw it like this okay so total four times in first round four comparisons are done in the second round also four comparisons will be done so comparison will be done between the elements stored at index 0 and 1 here 1 and 2 here 2 and 3 just a minute here it is 2 and 3 and here it is 3 and 4 so here what is stored at index 0 phi u and 3 phi u is greater than 3 therefore swapping is done okay after swapping phi u will be stored at index 1 and at index 2 7 is there phi u is smaller than 7 okay we know that previous number when the previous number is smaller than the next number we will not do any swapping then the next the number stored at index 2 is 7 and the num number stored at index 3 is 2 here 7 is greater than 1 therefore swapping is done okay and 7 will be stored at index 3 and at index 4 8 is there therefore no swapping so in this second round swapping is done for two times in the third round but before moving towards the third round let me draw here the scenario of our original array so one two three and four so after second round here we have got three then five then one then seven and eight this is the scenario okay then uh, i will write here for third round so for the third round let me draw here four cases one two three and four so we will compare first two numbers stored at index 0 and 1 then 1 and 2 then 2 and 3 and 3 and 4 so here 3 is stored at index 0 then at index 1 5 is stored 3 is smaller than 5 therefore no swapping is there then 5 is stored at index 1 and 2 is stored at sorry 1 is stored at index 2 here 5 is greater than 1 therefore swapping is done so after swapping 5 will be stored at index 2 and at index 3 7 is there here 5 is smaller that means previous number is smaller than the next number therefore there is no any swapping and then the number stored at index 3 is 7 at and at index 4 8 is stored therefore there is no any swapping so in the third round only one swapping will be there then after this round 3 uh, our array will look like this so the size of this array is 5 and after third round here it is 3 1 5 7 8 and in indexing is 0 1 2 3 4 now in the fourth round if you check only one swapping will be there the swapping between 3 and 4 this remaining part is already sorted therefore here there will not be any swapping so only one swapping will be there so if you count total number of swappings so 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 2 7 there will be total 7 swappings and if you check the given options you will find option C number 7 so the number of swappings required for sorting this uh, given numbers in ascending order if we are using bubble sort are total 7 swappings thank you very much for watching this video now you can follow us on instagram or uh, and linkedin facebook as well as on youtube so don't forget to subscribe and like our videos and channel
uh, if you visit our website so in our website you need to just google shikuya remember it is s h i k u y double a for shikuya okay here you will find various courses which will help you for your placement and various events organized by shikuya team and everything so don't forget to visit our website thank you very much